the game and cheering our uh, our young women on. You know, we, we never, we, we love to see you there. We never take you for granted. And hopefully, you know, we, we can continue to build up our fan base because I think we're going to play some exciting basketball in the next few years. Love our team. I love our young kids. Um, I love what they did this year. We've got 16 wins. We've got eight conference wins. Uh, we, we're going to go to uh, WNIT, but we want to make a run to get on the bubble for the NC2A, which I think we can do. And, um, you know, I'm just so proud of these kids and how they battled from adversity, injury after injury after injury after injury. And uh, people have just stepped up and done a great job. So we're really, really excited. But today is all about our seniors. So I want to introduce our seniors, and, and we're going to get our, our yeah, can, uh, uh, can Stephanie Watts come up, please? Presenting Stephanie with this beautiful SC Letterman jacket. Tell you something about Stephanie, three-year starter at the University of North Carolina. She has the North, the ACC record for most threes in the game. She put 11 down. Last year, she played the number one team in the country, Notre Dame. And she had 18 points and I think 10 rebounds. And if a big upset at Notre Dame when she was North Carolina, this kid can play. And, and uh, right now, we are hoping that she gets a sixth year so she can be a, I have another senior year next year. And if you remember, the one game when she was healthy was against the University of Virginia, and she came this close to getting a triple-double that, that, that day. Uh, she's a, a great player, but more importantly, she's a great kid. She's been hurt all year. She's been a leader off the court. She keeps the kids up. She's always coming in with a great attitude. Uh, she's working on her master's in entrepreneurship, so once she gets that, and the world's going to be her oyster, and I just love getting to know her this year. I loved uh, what she's done for us, and I'm really going to love coaching her next year if that's, if that's the way it works out. But great kids, Stephanie Watts. Also, ACC. Aaliyah June, come on up. Come on, Leah, get fitted with this beautiful uh, USC jacket here. How much you love here, though? Come on, let's bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah. Hey, Leah. We are so happy and proud to have Leah as part of our program. Uh, Leah is really a great kid. And, uh, you know, I, I just, every time I challenged her, she's come through. We played UCLA when we were 0-5. And I said, Aaliyah, they don't think you can rebound. You know, they, they don't think you can rebound at all. Uh, she had 27 points and 13 rebounds against UCLA. And she got every rebound in the middle of the I don't know if you remember, and this is, if I have to pick the play of the year, the point of play of the year. You want to recreate the play of the year? You, you want to show them what you did? So, so we, we're playing, we're, we're like second overtime, and it's and we're down we're down two, as a matter of fact. We're down two. So there's a scrum, India kicks it out to her. She gets it about 25 feet away from the basket. Now mind you, it's a big crowd and everything else. She shoots it, and as soon as it leaves her hand, she goes, <laughs> She had no doubt that was going in. That was the biggest shot of the year and a big upset. Uh, She's had some great games for us and has gone work through injuries, knee injury. Uh, we had a big upset at Oregon State in the last 30 seconds. A girl rolled into her knee and hurt it, so she's been out the last four games. Hopefully we're going to get her back for the tournament. If not, definitely for postseason. But I'll tell you what, we've won eight games. She was a huge con a contributor in most of them. And that UCLA game against our rival, and I know she's from the East Coast, and I, I get her to understand this, against UCLA. When you perform like that, you become, you endear yourself to Trojan Nation forever, baby. And forever. Yeah. And she's about to get her master's in entrepreneurship. And I'm telling you, this kid with Stephanie Watts is on her way to making a million bucks by the time she's 25. <laughs> Kayla, over there. Come here and get your beautiful honeymoon chance. I 
can't say enough about Kayla. We're so happy that she transferred from Vanderbilt. I wish she was here for four years. Uh, but let me tell you something about Kayla. I've gotten to know her over the last two years, and I think I've developed a really good relationship uh, with her. I just, I just know that that she's always going to come with a passion and desire and a ferocity. Man, she plays the game at, at, at such a level. And I'll just show you, uh, we're playing Stanford, and we're getting beat by Stanford, and she went in for a layup, and got fouled, made the shot, and she's on the baseline. Now, we're 20 at that point, and she just goes nuts and inspires our team, and we still have to come back, but she refused to quit. She won't want to let us get us down, and it just got our team going. She's got that attitude, and you saw her today. She's got her DNA all over that floor, man. She's, she's got a blood, sweat, and tears. She's diving on loose balls on the floor. She anchors our defense. She's one. I think she's one of the top defensive players in the conference. Her pick and roll coverage. Her guard. She can switch out and guard guard. She can guard big kids. She's so physical. She's so tough. She never gives up. And I just love coaching this kid. I absolutely love coaching her. And I know I can trust her to always show up for these games and always play and always play her heart out. I'm going to miss her. I really wish that I had her for for another year. But she's going to be successful. She's a great student. Great kid, she's got her USC degree now, and I'm really looking forward now, as I am with Aaliyah, but I'm looking forward to starting a lifelong relationship with her. I, I don't know if she's gonna play pro ball, if that's what she wants to do, I know there's somewhere that she can play, but after she gets done in pro ball, seeing this kid and seeing what she did academically, or this young woman, I have no doubt that Kayla Overbeck is gonna be extremely successful in life, and I'm telling you, she, if we this program goes anywhere, She's the foundation. Here's where it started on this day. All right, and great senior year. And I'm telling you, I, I told her I, I'm giving her a nickname from now on. You know, forget Oscar Robertson. Here's the big O. Here's the big O. <laughs> and, uh, love you, Great job. Do any of the seniors want to, you want to say anything, Kayla? Do any of the seniors want to talk? You want to say anything? You know, Stephanie, I'll be if you guys want to say anything. Here's the mic. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I have actually been thinking about this since last year. Um, you know, like in the shower, like, okay, what should I say? But, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, I just first wanna say thank you to my family for, um, like I wouldn't be here without them. Like I remember after freshman year of high school, I, I really just wasn't, I did, just, I didn't have that passion for basketball. and. Uh, my stepdad wrote me this note about the GOAT and how like you can be the GOAT, you can be the greatest, but if you aren't going to go follow your passion, you're going to be on the you know, blacktop playing basketball and people aren't going to know your name. And, you know, just having them there with me for this whole ride, going to Nashville first uh, and then coming back home, you know, having them at every single game is definitely something that uh, was why I came here, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's hard not to, you know, get emotional about it because everyone has been there for me, you know, from the beginning, from growing up. And I think uh, having that secondary family that I found here at USC for the past two years, like all these, co the coaches have so much faith in me and on and off the court, they've made me such a better person and that really has contributed to me being a better player. Um, you know, I could drop the basketball right now and I know that they do anything to help me get to the next step. And I just want to say thank you to them. And I want to say thank you to the team because I wouldn't be the person, you know, that I am without all of them leaning and pushing me up every single day in practice. You know, like good days, bad days, they're always going to be there. And I think every single time they, you know, whoever asks is like, what about this, what about this? Like, Every single person in this room on this team has such a bright future, and y'all don't see it yet, and it's amazing. It's, it's crazy. Like, I really thought that, like, I was like, I was gonna be the best player in the world. These people in here are gonna, you know, it's crazy, and I just can't wait to be a part of, you know, their life and their growth in any type of way, and it's just, I don't know. And thank you to everyone who comes and supports us. You know, that's, that's why we do this, because we have a family, like a family away from home, you know, like for everyone coming from Oregon, Texas, 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 Alaska, you know, I'm so thankful that my family's here, but this is the family that you really want to have and lean on through everything.